The calibration of the room um, is typically suggested in, I would say, 90% of the rooms. There are certain cases where a system that is uh, totally linear might not completely satisfy our uh, taste. Uh, for this reason, uh, we have added this contour section that actually extends the uh, sonic contour capabilities that you have with the switches behind uh, the speaker, on the back panel of the speaker. Um, for example, uh, I may, I may uh, consider that this frequency response uh, to my taste in this room, for what I'm used to, is a little bit shy on the low frequency. In that case, I will just raise the low frequencies by a notch here, 1.5 dB. I can select the frequency where this low shelving is starting. And what is mostly important is that uh, this operation that I'm doing here is affecting a system uh, that is neutral, that is transparent, where the room has been taken out from the equation. So I am adding this gentle lift that is not going to make um, the low frequencies uh, confused or boomy. It's just slightly making it uh, more present, uh, exactly to match eventually the taste of the engineer. Of course, one of the mostly typical use of the contour settings um, is when you, when you place the speakers in situations where the acoustical performance is uh, uh, somehow affected by the placement. So, in case you are not using ARC, uh, you can manually trim the speakers um, for example, by taming down a little bit the low frequency and low mid frequency build up that happens when the speakers are placed on a large format console. And for this need, you can use the desk filter that is uh, exactly made for this reason. So to uh, make the low mids slightly lighter to avoid the boost that typically happens in these conditions. While the contour section is offering a lot of possibilities, it is important to know that uh, once the system has been calibrated with ARC, very little interventions are typically needed here, if any. In addition to all of this, uh, the X-Monitor software also allows to control these additional parameters here at the bottom. The standby timer sets the time after which the monitor goes into the power safe mode, low power mode. Uh, you can set a time between off and two hours. Delay is used to set an additional delay time for each speaker from 0 to 10 milliseconds. Uh, this is very useful when it is physically not possible, for example in an immersive setup, to um, place the speakers in the room exactly where they should be. And for example, if you have one speaker that is the test to be closer than the other, then you can artificially delay it by a certain amount to perfectly time align to the others in the system. By default, uh, all the settings that are applied to one speaker are also reflected to the other one. Um, in case uh, uh, it is needed to set one speaker differently from the other one, for example, with different contour settings, uh, we just need to unlink the speakers by clicking this button. This way, we can, for example, uh, have a setting uh, like this on one speaker and have a totally different setting on the other one.